All right, so welcome back, everybody. So for this video, I'm going to be unboxing the Grasshopper and the Ant. Now, this is my second game from ILO Games, and this is also my second game that's part of the uh, Tales and Games series. So my uh, first game that I own for this series is uh, the, uh, the Hare and the Tortoise, and so this time it's the Grasshopper and the Ant. Now, once again, this is another one of those games that is definitely back from my childhood. Just about anybody's childhood, really, honestly. And so I'm kind of looking forward to uh, seeing what's inside this box and getting to know how to play this game. And I really, really loved the last game I bought from Tales and Games uh, for that series. So uh, something tells me I'm going to really enjoy this, too. And another really cool thing about these games is even though they're part of a series and they're in these really cool books here, which aren't really books, but they're in, it's obviously shaped like a book, um, they're each different. They're all very different. Not only are they, is it a, a, diff a different story, but it's also a different game. Vastly different from uh, this will be vastly different from the Hare and the Tortoise. So let's um, look what's inside the box. All right, so for this video, we're going to be reading The Grasshopper and the Ant. Not, this is the uh, Grasshopper and the Ant game, obviously. Just thought I'd have a laugh, pretending this was an actual storybook. <laughs> so let's take a look here. We have uh, the rule book, or uh, maybe just the story. I think this is the editor's notes, and uh, maybe the story of the uh, grasshopper, the ant. In case you don't know it, you can read uh, read about it a little bit, and then some uh, other obvious games that are from the same uh, series here. Now, obviously, I own this one already, and maybe someday I'll get the Three Little Pigs, but. Um, I did do a video on the Three Little Pigs, though, so maybe I'll buy it someday, too. But, um, here's the rules and the contents. Not a huge rule book, obviously, because it's, you know, it's supposed to be an easy game, right? So, um, you don't need a ton of rules for an easy game. So, pretty cool. Okay, simple rule book. We got some stickers here. So, I, I think these are stickers. Yes, they're stickers. So we'll be sticking these, uh, I think these are grasshoppers, and I think these are the ants. We'll be sticking these on obvious uh, wooden pieces, I think. Not for the video. That That is a delicate procedure that I prefer to do in solitary, uh, in solitary meditation. I prefer to do the stickers in solitary meditation. It looks like we have um, some more stickers that I'll be putting on. Looks like that's some sort of like picnic, uh, maybe uh, blanket or something uh, to signify. I don't know. Um, but yeah, some more stickers. And then we got this, uh, I think this is a scoreboard maybe, or just, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, oh, but it's got nice art, art, nice artwork though, right? Very nice artwork. Oh, okay, here we go. Looks like we've got, if I can get it out. So there's only one grasshopper actually, and it'll be uh, you'll be put. We'll be I'll be putting uh, the stickers on both sides of this uh, this thing that signifies the grasshopper. So that's cool. And then we've got looks like we got some discs here that I think those other stickers. I think they'll be going on these various uh, discs for some. I'm not sure what these are for. I don't know too much about this game. So it'll definitely be a new experience learning how to play this game. Um, let's take a look at those next. There's looks like there's, I think these are the ants. Yeah, here we go. So we'll be putting the ant stickers on on these black ones, and there's more than one of these, which makes sense because there's usually more than one ant, right? So there's several of them, obviously, and. Another one, and another one, and another one. And then we've got some cubes here in various colors. Kind of wish they weren't in this, just so you could get them out easier, but oh well. So we've got, 
uh, four different colors in cubes here, probably uh, for the different players that you can play in the game, you know, up to four players, right? So um, I think that would be for for the players themselves. And then, looks like we got some cards. So let's open these up and take a look at these. So, the cards were fairly easy to open up, so that's good. So here's the cards. Oh, let's, they're upside down. There we go. So, it looks like a mosquito. And that looks like a beetle. So, I'm, and it's, so yes, the grasshopper and the ant, the original story, there was only the grasshopper and the ant, right? Well, that's the same thing with the hortus and the, the tear and the hortus. The original story, the hare and the tortoise were the only two real animals in the game, or should I say, in the book, right? But when they made the game, they added a whole bunch of extra animals, right? So I guess it would make sense that they would add more animals to the game for the grasshopper and the ant, just like they did with the other story, story game. So we got a ladybug, and I want to say that's a grasshopper, but who knows, right? Um... That definitely looks like a mosquito, for sure. Maybe this is not a mosquito. I'm not sure. Because this one looks definitely different from that one. Then we got a bee. And then, looks like we've got maybe uh, point cards or something. Uh, ooh, candy in that jar. So I'm not sure what all this means, but... Beautiful artwork, for sure. Ooh, there's a carrot. Looks like the ant is getting a, himself a carrot. Looks like the ant is getting some strawberries and some cheese and some honey. Or should I say stealing all these things, obviously. And some apple by the looks of it. And it looks like there's a worm inside of the apple anyways. So hey, he's doing the human a favor, if you ask me. Okay, so that's cool. Um, then we have these. Okay, so we have these, and so, there we go, now it's not upside down. So some of them have insects, some of them don't, but it's like various different tile. Maybe this is sort of like a board version of a game. Uh, we'll be probably laying some of these out during the course of the game, probably. They're very thin. So, uh, uh, gotta be careful with them. You don't want to bend them or something, probably. But they're pretty thin. So pretty nice, though. The artwork on them is nice. They're really nice. Uh, now, I don't know why some of them have insects and some of them don't, of course. And I don't know why there are extra insects either, obviously. But... I will f find that out at some point, for sure. It's still really cool artwork, though. It's a cool-looking game, too. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching this uh, unboxing of the Grasshopper and the Ant. If you guys liked it, leave a like on this video. And um, I probably forgot to mention to leave a like on Sticky Chameleons. So, if you guys watched Sticky Chameleons already and you haven't, and you and you're just watching this now. You know, don't forget to leave a like on Sticky Chameleons. And if you, of course, haven't watched Sticky Chameleons, I recommend you watch Sticky Chameleons as well because it's another fun little game from the same uh, same same group as this one, ILO. So you should take a look at it for sure. These are both interesting little games, and uh, they definitely seem like they're going to be a lot of fun. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys again next time.